today's toy spot, we're having a look at the new NECA A Nightmare on Elm Street figures. We're looking today at the Freddy's Dead Final Nightmare, Fred Krueger. Depicted in flashback scenes and I guess near the end of the movie as well. We have Fred Krueger. The second released Fred Krueger that came to us from NECA, the original, was a convention exclusive that Spot's actually done the review of. So if you want to check that original Fred Krueger out. Down below indicated they saved the best for last. Again, somewhat debatable, depending on w whether you liked Freddy's Dead or you did not like Freddy's Dead. Picture on the side also is Freddy Krueger. The back of the package shows a picture of Freddy Krueger and it says a child psychologist is tormented by recurring nightmares but not until she meets a new patient with the same horrific dreams does her quest for answers lead to a certain house on Elm Street where an evil that defies the grave is about to be unleashed upon the world. Also available from NECA at the time that this figure was released is Power Glove Freddy. What I am going to do is take a break I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Fred Krueger. There's definitely more to come. Stay tuned. Included with Fred Krueger, you'll get yourself the trusty fedora of Freddy Krueger, or Fred Krueger in this case. One of the one of the good examples of why you should not have Freddy Krueger always with a fedora. Some Freddies, as, it, as seen in the movie, he doesn't have the fedora on all the time. And in a case like this, you would not want to hide the phenomenal sculpt, as crudely as Spot just put that on his head. You would not want to ruin such a phenomenal sculpt by hiding his face with the fedora. Um, this is just a phenomenal sculpt on Freddy Krueger, or Fred Krueger, or Robert Englund. Now, Spot's reviewed the convention exclusive. I actually did a throwback of the convention exclusive Fred Krueger as well and obviously big strikes against the figure the figure was so much larger than what we are getting now with these smaller scaled down six inch versions of the Freddy figures obviously he was pre-posed he had his arm up he was holding a doll in hand it was a good sculpt but I mean I think this sculpt definitely is a far better sculpt of Freddy Krueger or Fred Krueger I gotta wonder if Robert Englund actually has these figures on his display. Maybe he just has a version of himself sitting on his desk next to him. He looks over from time to time and says, wow, I really made it. I've got a figure made of myself. I mean, the, the paint, the sculpt on the hair, everything on this figure excels phenomenally. About the only thing that is different on this Freddy is really his face. The rest of the body is reused from previously released Freddy's. One thing that's interesting as well is we just zoom up to the hand of Freddy. I'm going to reach off camera. The other figure that I just reviewed was the Power Glove Freddy. And while I thought initially the hand had been re-sculpted slightly to sh for Freddy, you'll see that the little creases and little pockets are the exact same on both, on both Freddy's. So it would almost show that the hand on Fred Krueger is a little too veiny, but because it's not painted in, you're not seeing it as much as you would with on a, on a Freddy figure. Um, but the torsos are the exact same. The lower legs are obviously the exact same as well. The only other difference that's made is the glove. Now, Power Glove Freddy used a new sculpt incorporating the Power Glove, whereas Fred Krueger is utilizing a gloved Freddy and I'm sure this glove has been used before it's it's not common it's not uncommon for them to reuse glove sculpts I mean the paint is done nice on the glove it's got more of a bronze coloring and he's got more of the markings that is featured in later gloves His articulation applies the same on this Fred figure as the other Freddy's as well Something I commented on with the Power Glove Freddy, it's, it's just an absolute shame that they can't incorporate new articulation in the knees 
and in the leg area. Unfortunately, this Fred Krueger just does not have it. He's just the same staction uh, lower torso as every other Freddy. The Jasons now, obviously, you know, with the Jasons, we're getting articulated legs, articulated knees. Freddies were still kind of with an older scope. I mean, where they've really excelled in, in is the upper torso. They had the articulation in the arms, the swivel, and the bend. Lower leg, though, is still relegated to the older release of the figures. Like, I mean, this it's almost on par with the older cult classics figures for what we are getting in the lower legs. But the ex the, the sculpt on the head is just what sells this absolutely perfect for a figure. I mean, it's Spot's picked up every Freddy figure that has been released, and some of them have been where you look at the figure and you think, well, you know what, it's a good figure, but did we really need this version of Freddy? Did we really need this particular version of Freddy? In this case, Fred, a Fred Krueger figure is, is not only something that fans have been looking for, but to now have it in, in hand, I mean, this is just an absolutely gorgeous piece. His articulation would be the same as the other Freddy figures. He does have a ball jointed head, moves up and down, left and right. It's a little bit stiff on this head, unfortunately. He's got a pin and socket in the shoulders. They rotate back and forth out. He has a bend hinge in the elbow, so his arms rotate back and forth and bend back and forth. He has a ball joint in the hand, ball joint in the upper torso, and ball joint in the in the feet. Um, the only thing I would really say is uh, I don't know how much longer NECA is going to be producing Freddy figures. I mean, we're kind of, to some extent, getting near the end of what they could produce. I know we've still got different versions of Freddy from the movies that they could approach, but I mean, as we get near the end of the line, I mean, I would love to have seen more if they can start getting into uh, bases. You know, I don't know if it's ever something that NECA would consider with the Fred figures, you know, Freddy figures, the Jason figures, but to get bases, little, even just small bases, the fact that they are reusing so much of the body and just slightly tweaking little aspects, to give us different bases depicting from those movies would always be a really nice touch. They could have easily given us like a grass base or even like, I suppose with the Freddy outfit as it is, maybe just a, you know, a basement base that they could have given us. That would have been a neat, neat touch as well, but Fred as a whole is just, it's a, for me, it's a, it's a pickup. It's one of those figures, if you're going to be getting Freddy figures, Fred is one that you want to be picking up. Fred Krueger, I'm going to give him a nine. A nine. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the new NECA A Nightmare on Elm Street frig figures. We're looking today at Freddy's Dead, Fred Krueger. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've picked up this figure, very lucky, as this figure is just, again, incredible. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think of this figure as a whole. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.